Well, welcome back today. We want to discuss a topic that affects all of us at one point or another, and sometimes our doc on call gets lots of questions about it and surely plenty of ER visits from it. It's pain. So, Dr. Stanton, this is the uh, topic of your show actually tomorrow, Stanton MD, and we want to set the foundation for learning more about pain. So, Doc, let's start off with defining pain. What is it? What is it not? Yeah, absolutely, and this seems like something that would be obvious uh, in terms of definition, but it's reality of life, especially as we age. In the world where the average person is living into their 70s and bodies that seem to best perform to about 40, pain is a frequent and likely daily co-pilot through life for most of us. It was a revolution in the pain management and the approach to pain in the last 20 years that led to the opioid pain medication epidemic and now the heroin epidemic we are seeing like daily on the news it seems like a combination of bad data and good intentions got millions of americans addicted to medications that don't actually treat any medical problem so let's first outline a few of the key points with regard to pain the most important reality is that pain is a symptom not a diagnosis it's just like a fever it represents a process inside the body but it's not the process itself i want you to think of it like your check engine light on your body it's just telling you that something is wrong. It's also a protective mechanism that limits activity in order to allow for recovery or prevent further damage. The key here is that we need to treat the problem, not the symptom. This is where pain management went off the rails in the beginning of the century. We loaded people with pills to mask the symptoms, but rarely dealt with the underlying issue. In this regard, opioid-based pain medications are simply a Band-Aid. They may cover the problem, but they don't heal anything. There is a role, especially for cancer-related pain and in significant traumatic injuries, post-operative, things like that, but not to the degree that we have used them over the last number of years. When it comes to treating pain, we need to get to the root of the problem, find the cause. By finding the actual cause, we can develop strategies to treat the problem. And the key is to remember that most pain didn't start overnight, and it won't resolve overnight. It takes commitment, time, and patience three things that we really struggle with here in modern American society. Yes, we do. We want something now, right now. and Quick we don't fix. have to work for it. It's just, yeah, we take something, take a magic pill, and the pain goes, goes away, away, right? But that's not the case, unfortunately. Well, this leads into the topic of your, your show tomorrow. So you're talking about pain, and then you're also talking about some strategies available to manage some more painful conditions. What can we expect? Yeah, so absolutely. Tomorrow morning, right here, ABC, ABC 36 at uh, 7 a.m., um, you can check out the show. We've got some good things tomorrow. We're going to start off uh, spending time with Lexington Fire and EMS talking about the struggles dealing with overdoses in the opioid epidemic. Sure. Mm -hmm. and then we spend the time talking about how we actually do or should treat pain. Right. Some options, talking with Dr. Dinesh Muslimdust at Pain Management Medicine about interventional pain approaches. And then court physical therapy. They mm -hmm. do some great work about the importance of rehabilitation in the management of pain. I think it's an important topic, an important show, and hope you'll carve out some time. So set that alarm. If you're not a morning person, DVR. DVR is a great <laughs> way to do it, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Very good. And as you mentioned, it's all about getting to the root of the problem instead of treating the symptoms of it, which pain is absolutely, a symptom. Absolutely. Absolutely. Treat the find, treat the problem, deal with it, and make sure that uh, understand that you need to be patient, understanding that your body needs time to recover. And, um, yeah, even if you're not using those harder drugs, it's the just over-the-counter ones can still do a lot of damage to your system. I've seen this happen to friends of mine trying to deal with chronic pain with ibuprofen or something like that. Absolutely, and those are still, research shows those are the, are the best treatments for it. But, if, yeah, absolutely, long-term use of those is not ideal. It, it, eventually, um, you need to get that check engine light, uh, the, the source fixed, so you get, can get that light to turn off and not just deal with turning off the light. Go on and plug in for a diagnostic test. Go ahead and plug it in. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Dr. Stanton. And if you would like to ask him a question or get more details on tomorrow's show, you can go to his Facebook page, Stanton MD, and find lots of details there. We're back with more after this.